This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This time using lines of uh, using lines of eight hexagons with 25 pixel sides. Oh my goodness. It's like a complicated diamond. The last one was complicated enough. To make each hexagon repeat the side six times turning 60 degrees. That's a good hint. Um, so we're going to want to use a repeat six and then draw that line six times while turning 60 degrees. I can already see jump a 25 pixels between each hexagon okay to draw a diamond okay you will need to alternate between turning six degrees and 120 degrees oh all right this looks so complicated at only 14 blocks they want us to do this in all right well let's start by getting the small hexagons and let's do a function like we have been doing, except instead of draw a square or triangle, we want, what, draw a hexagon. All right. And what do we need to draw a hexagon? We're going to go forward. Well, first, wait a minute, six sides. So we want to draw this side six times. Great. And then how big is it? Mm, 25. Okay. Action. Oh, and we can only use one move forward for all of this. Woof. 25. All right, so we're going to move forward 25, and then what? Well, we're going to want to turn 60 degrees. Yeah, this was for the diamond. So six sides turning 60 degrees. Okay, turn 60 degrees for our hexagon. Okay, so that should draw a hexagon, and let's go ahead and ask the computer, run, draw, draw hexagon, and it should run the code in this function which six times, move forward 25, turn right, psh, once, move forward, turn right, and we'll draw a hexagon, hopefully. We got us a hexagon. All right, so draw a hexagon. We got that much. Now, if we're going to create a diamond shape out of these, oh, it looks so complicated. Um, let's assume we're going to do it like before where we drew a line of squares and then and a line of triangles so let's make another function and uh draw a line of hexagons i guess all right so draw a line of it doesn't even look like draw i'm gonna call it draw diamond side Because that's what we're making again. Draw a diamond side. All right. So to do that, how many hexagons? I have no idea how many hexagons are on the side there. They all mush together. Uh, let's use a loop. We're going to have to test some stuff out here. And what do we want to do? Well, we're going to draw a hexagon. And then did it say jump 25 between each? Okay, but what do I... I'm just going to try that, honestly. So jump forward... 25. I'm not sure if I need more code than this, but the great thing about code is you can always test. So draw diamond side. We'll go zoop, draw diamond side, and we'll draw at least four hexagons. Let's see. Oh, that does kind of look like theirs because they're all overlapping. Oh, that's a great sign. Oh, except we didn't get... Are we about halfway... Let's try eight then, if we're about halfway down this side. Let's see. But uh Okay, awesome. So this is good progress. Now that we got draw a diamond side, how many times do we need to do this? Well, there's four sides. Oh, wait a minute, though. Because there's different turns, like last time. Let's do turn 60. Uh, yes, okay. Turn 60 degrees. Oh, well, first, whoops, function, draw diamond side, turn 60. Then what? Hmm. And let's go ahead and do a function. Okay. Then we want to, like before, remember, we're going to call the function again, draw the side of a diamond. And at the end of this, though, where do we want to turn? It's not 60. It's now 120. So turn 
120. And again, this is going to be like before. I'll show you what I mean. We're going to then want to, what, draw a diamond side. And we're at 14 blocks, so we're in trouble. But I'm going to keep going to show you. We then want to turn 60, because we'll be right here. Okay, and then what do we want to do? Well, we want to draw a diamond side. Oops, this should be draw a diamond side. Okay, and notice this code, we're repeating ourselves here. Draw diamond side, turn right by 60, draw diamond side. And we can have a 120 at the bottom of this because that just means at the beginning, we go back and face our starting point. So let's loop it two times. We can't loop it four because our turns are different each time. So we need to do this two times, which will draw the complete side and then another complete side. So draw diamond function, but ah uh, is going to do all of that. Ooh, now we have too much code. Oh, okay, well, what if we just do it like this? Oh, fine, we'll do it like that then. Uh, let's give this a shot. But uh Whew, this stuff is complicated. Although look, we only used 14 lines to draw all of that. That's pretty cool. Onward.